I'm doing that you have shown me. You have shown me. You look beyond me, you. Everybody lift up your hands and bless the Lord. Come, come, my dear. No, don't bow. You have a friend here. When you want to learn some of the things you do every year, whenever you want to do it, put me in the plan. Just say, these are the things we are doing. Whichever way we are meant to support you, we will do it. Starting from 2024. No, don't lay down, no. Don't lay for me. Only one request. Only one. And I'm saying it publicly. Recently, Ebuka Songs has been in the way for very wonderful reasons but a few issues here and there. Not my problem, but like we see on social media here. Now, this is not the first time I'm discussing about his person based on videos I have come across on the platform. Last time was a person of Reverend Kesiena. I am a soldier on the battlefield. Statement with respect to what he saw online. Listen to this. The average young minister, he's not God's servant. He's the servant of the crowd. He's the servant of the people. That's why one came to our city. And he was just about to strike the fountainhead of one of the demonic expressions in our city. And as he was about to say, those of you doing Yahoo, the, the, the man of God sensed that his market was about to spoil. Hmm? So what did he do? He quickly stood up and said, the Lord is speaking to me now. And in the middle of ministration, he promised the young man a car. I know what the young man did. He dropped the microphone and lay down flat. Now, meanwhile, the, the, the place where he was doing that thing, eh? may the Lord give you understanding. Now, this is just for me to give you a preamble to what we are discussing today. And why I think as well, you who love Ibuka songs with all of your heart should actually have him also in prayers. Now, I know Ibuka songs will say something like this. You want to be what I hear in my spirit is you want to be part of this revival in my days and the days that is to come. It's not too late for you. You will not be among those people that will be on the mic and be judging other people. We are not those generations. We are too busy. We are too busy to bring other people's business into our mouth. The work of God is so much for us. There is so much God wants us to do in this time. So we are too busy. We don't have time. Only jobless people have time to look at other people's business. Very jobless people. We, are, we don't even have time to be looking back. There's going to be a fresh wind of revival. Oh, come on. But I will give you a context to the video I've just played right now. My name is George, in case you're meeting me for the first time. I like talking about trends, especially the ones that happen in the body of Christ. Africa to be specific. Maybe as time goes on, we'll leave the African sphere and get into the West because a lot is going on right there that probably you don't know of. Ebuka songs has really been in the waves with wonderful songs like If I no pray, Satan will make mess of me. This is what Ebuka Amina had to say. What spirituality about a song title? I will pray, oh, I will pray. If I don't pray, Satan will make mess of me. I told the brother this song is not a gospel song because it takes away your mind from the finished works of Christ and keeps your mind on works and on a defeated Satan to be afraid when you don't pray. Am I right, Lobo Baba, on that? And Lobo Baba, why does today, or it should be, why do today Christians accept everything in the name of Christianity and don't ask questions to keep them aligned with what the Bible teaches? Well, you are right concerning that song. Songs should not produce fear. Songs should be a reflection of the gospel of Christ. Christians today, you know, behave like that because they've been messed up by religion. Religion makes you not to think. Religion makes you not to ask intelligent questions. Religion makes you not to reason. Religion just says whatever they say, just take it. 
no you don't just take it even god wants you to think god says come let us reason together you know to be spiritually minded so god wants you to think to reason his word to meditate his word to ponder his word and to ask intelligent questions because god is not afraid of your questions he wants your questions so he can give you clarity from his written word so you can come to a place of the truth concerning god so you are not wrong at all <laughs> ah! christianity anytime i look at all of this news i find it very very interesting you could tell me what you think about that everyone is entitled to their opinion but remember jesus is lord on this platform not your pastor or whoever it is you follow always have that at the back of your mind while you watch me so this is what happened we were in Cassiana after the last video, which I discussed about it, has over 200,000 views right now. If you hadn't seen that video, probably you will not understand what I'm talking about here. Because in the previous video, probably I would think Reverend Kesiana must have misunderstood the person of Webuka songs with the short clip he saw. Remember, like I always tell you, my dear friends, attention is currency. How Reverend Kesiana got to find out about the person of Webuka songs in the context of which he discussed and would be discussing again because he hasn't backed down is because Ebuka Songs shared the clip of what happened in summary of the event he actually went to at Prophet Odeon's church. This please, I played for you people in full length of what happened over there that was the reason Reverend Kesena spoke about. Now, before Kesena spoke about the person of Ebuka Song, he hadn't seen the full video, neither was he part of the event of what happened. And that is really, really clear. Now, it happens to be that, from my observation, Reverend Kesiana probably knows the prophet himself too well because they are in the same horizon when it comes to their ministry. So, he has a particular perception about his person and what he does. Hence, Reverend Kesiana has reacted again, but this time around, took a different approach. Appetite for money. Money! The love of money wants to finish our generation. That's why in the South South, Yahoo Yahoo is everywhere. I don't know whether they are in Abuja. They are everywhere. There's a preacher in my city. He has built a big cathedral. You know what his ministry is? To be praying for Yahoo boys. You know, there was a time I used to hold some of these worship ministers in very high esteem. In very high esteem. The reason I don't say some things in public is that if I say them, I will get into serious trouble in the body of Christ. So I leave my opinions to myself. I say it within my small circle. Some of the people that you celebrate everywhere, I can't listen to them. Some of them I sing their songs because I know that God can use a cockroach. Huh? To establish his will. I know. If God needs to release a message urgently, he can open the mouth of a donkey. It does not mean that he validates the donkey. Huh? So some of them I sing their songs. There are places in my city that I know are shrines. I'm in the city. I know the powers that are at play. I know the demonic activity that goes on. These people have visited there like three times because the person has money to invite them. They've been there like three times. If you came the first time, I know it's a mistake. But if you have the spirit of God and you stand somewhere, you will know that God is not there. I was telling my brother yesterday, I could not stop saying it. When I climbed on this place, when I entered this place, I said, wow, such rich atmosphere of God's presence. So every man of the spirit knows how to discern atmospheres. He knows. They've been there three, four times consistently. One came into my city. He wanted to just strike the matter of Yahoo. The man now knew that he wanted to touch his business. The brother just started talking about Yahoo. The man just got up and said, Give me my, give me my, give me my, give me my. Um, the, the Lord just spoke to me that I should give you a car. The man of God now forgot what he was about to say. You know what he did? He lay down full length. All of a sudden, he came under the, the burden that the Lord had given him a blessing. In the middle of ministration. Until my only guess is you. Spirit keep brooding over me. Till I look more like you. <laughs> you know, you don't need to believe me. Some people who have seen the video know what I'm saying. He was just about to hit the matter. Then the man of God got up and said, I give you car. Bro forgot the thing that was come. God was about to pipe a sound. Hmm? Then bro fell down on his face, full length. And bowed to mammon. Full end. And you know the thing about it? When he got up to hold microphone, it was still as if God was there. The glory had departed. He left since. Laborers are few. You don't need to believe me. Oh. Eh? 
Just imagine me now, and I'm teaching now. Then, Pastor Jude or Apostle or Mama, just all of a sudden, feel a body in their heart that they want to give me a seed. And they say, man of God, we want to give you a seed. And I drop my mic and say, my God, seed, seed. Full end. How does somebody in the middle of worship interrupt a proceeding, a spiritual ritual to say a carnal thing? God did not speak. You know, we are, we, are, we, are, we are becoming cowards. Not me. God did not speak. And I'm not afraid to say it. He didn't speak. But because we have become celebrities and entertainers, we are comparing ourselves to worldly musicians. We no longer know that the place of the worship minister is the place of ministry and service. You stand as a priest in the courts of God and your assignment is to open the valves of sound. If God is not saying anything, you shut up. But if he's the one speaking, you announce it on the mountains of Zion. He fell face down. Do you know when I saw the video, immediately I started to intercede for the brother. I said, let it not be that Mammon has snatched the sound. Let it not be. And you know the thing about this thing? It will first of all be registered in the spirit. It will take a while before it will become obvious that a man is no longer relevant. I sing these songs. Because some of those sounds, I believe that they come from the belly of God. But that day, a laborer was needed. But the man that appeared was a celebrity. A celebrity. And he got the reward for his celebrity status. He left with a car. But the souls that were on his tongue that he should have won, he left the harvest the way he met it. He left it the way he met it. I wonder if we get to your compound, we will not see harvest that has become rotting because you could not labor. <laughs> I wonder if we get to your school, your campus, your office, are certain things not have become rotting at the beds of the air, not feasting on certain fruit that are overripe. Have their lives not become petting ground for demons because a laborer has not realized that his wages, eh, his primary wage, is that the Lord will measure him. What did you do with the harvest? What did you do with the harvest? What did you do with the harvest? Some of us, our campuses have become wildernesses. Our neighbors, they are going to judge us when we arrive in glory. They will look at you and say, we're in the same compound for 10, 10 years. And rather than you show me the way, your own life corrupted my own life. Go to some compounds where some young ladies are living. All their neighbors know that in the night, they sneak in with boys in the night. And then they wake up in the morning, then they bring flyer and say, we have kingdom life conference. This whole environment is too small for spirit ecclesial network. The question is how many men are laborers? How many understand that the reason we are here is because of the harvest? The field is green. The body on the heart of the Lord is where are the laborers? I'm a soldier on the battlefield waiting to hear the call of my commander. Jesus, when you call my name, I will answer a billion times. I am a soldier on the battlefield waiting to hear the call of my commander. Jesus. Now, the way he got to speak right there as well, talking about some altars that are shrines and, you know, even those who are demonic himself can, even the devil can perform miracles. In the end, of course, he got to sing a Buka song and say that he's praying for the person of a Buka or he prayed for him. But he made a very strong statement that's by saying that Ebuka, Ebuka songs bowed down to Mammon. And in the same breath again, he said he hoped that the God of Mammon has not taken away his sound. And still as well, to crown it all, he got to sing his uh, song that is trending right now, I am a soldier. <laughs> that song and many others as well has really given Ebuka song a space when it comes to the um, gospel music ministry in Nigeria and now he's even going beyond Nigeria. If you get to look at Christianity in Africa, especially in Nigeria, with this whole idea of carcasses, camps, clans, you hear them say it of course verbally, openly, you get to know that there are some people that don't move with some people. Just to give you an example as well, Reverend Kessiana of course, being part of Apostle Aramo Sai's clan, believed that TB Joshua was not a true man of God just like his own father whom he passed out under the ministry i would say to a great extent as well believes that it shouldn't be news guess what 
or Dion himself as well believed that TV Joshua was a true man of God. He said this about the person of Bisola. It's a plan from the enemies. And if you check those people now, the one way pay me pass away say they're raper now, the one way get half pass I. You will get half pass I. Wait, your eye. Your eye they half pass after four. You they lie. That one, if you see his face, very old. Whether they call her Bisola, you know. Maybe they were kind of like this. Now that one, they won't rape. If you don't help people, the way they talk nonsense, how many dead themselves don't help? Do you know how many widows TV Joshua they pay their rent? How many widows people TV Joshua they pay their salary? How many widows? How many you think can't How many children put for scholarship? Wickedness is real. That's why the Bible says, God said, I will, He said, judgment will start from the church. Yeah, the Before even devil, they attend church self. That's why me, man, I not talk. It's not me to talk, eh? Even the, my last breath, TB Joshua is a man of God. Meaning, manner, anyone that is following TB Joshua would be clapping for him for saying that about his person saying that about her person but that is your business so you can see right here two walls and like i have told you as well my dear friends with this whole tv joshua incident bbc and all that you can see a clear divide based on where your own pastor is standing the way i titled this video that ebuka song should be careful it's not just about me saying that he should be careful who am i some of you, <laughs> I keep saying it, every day I get threats on my DM, I read comments and people are calling me all the names in this world, I look at them and I laugh. But I just ask myself a question, why do you keep watching me with all the hatred you have? I just, I still don't understand. But anyway, the point I'm trying to make here is that when I saw this video, when Ebuka Songs ministered at the program of um, Pastor David Ogwili, this is what he said to him. Me in the plan, just say these are the things we are doing. Whichever way we are meant to support you, we will do. Starting from 2024. No, don't lay down, no. Don't lay for me. Only one request. Only one. And I'm saying in public, I want every other person. Please, there is a heavens of the nation of you. You are going very far. But don't let any how person lay hands on your head. Before you let people lay hands on you, whether they answer pastor, prophet, anything they like, be sure you know who they are, you believe in what they stand for. That is the only thing you must. You know, everybody has his consecration. Samson, they don't touch his, and he cannot touch dead animals. They can't touch alcohol. They are different. Everyone has put an ordination on you. This thing is going to go very far. Nobody knew where you were crying, where you were praying, when God was cooking you. Don't let anybody put dirty hands on your head. All the men who answer men of God, their hands are not clean. That's all. And God will protect you guys and bless you. You have a brother here. God bless you, sir. God bless you. You see the difference? You have shown You have shown me mercy. Oh, I'm the one. I'm the one. You, you have, have shown me You have shown me You have shown You want me to do it again so you see the difference? That's how God, this one is not a singer, he's a psalmist, a prophetic psalmist. Now, I hope you took your time to listen to that. Because if his condition for being by his side and calling him brother and all that is based on that particular aspect, probably he's seeing something. And for a fact, the Booker songs is going far. I have great respect for him. Why would I even be talking about the Booker songs if he does not have attention and he's not trending for obvious reasons like you see? Last time I came, I was defending the brother. 
And for me, I face facts. I don't have sentiment, whether you like it or not. If you insult me in the comment and I insult you back, I'm just giving you facts as well, because that is it. But you have to understand something right here. Ebuka songs himself as he's rising, even though as a music minister, he knows what he's called to do, to worship God as well and make God known, not himself. That is, is going to bring him a lot of attention. So Come remember, on, Reverend Kesena still hold on to the idea of him falling face down when that particular highlight of he himself posted. Let me tell you something like I will say again. Had it been a Buka song did not post the highlight of that event that he had at the Prophet Odeon's church, Reverend Kesena would not know what he knows and wouldn't have said what he said. That is a fact. Because Ebuka Songs is the one that has attention. Now, the video I'm, I'm going to play for you right now, it has less than 10 or 15 views. Because for me, I like to go to the root and be like, okay, he's saying that probably this pastor is someone that prays for Yahoo Boys. This pastor is someone that preaches, uh, prays for Yahoo Boys or something. Why would the same pastor be saying this? Money is bad. Money is very, very good. If you don't control it, it becomes very bad. So please, as Christians, I am talking to you from my heart. Let us start behaving like mature Christians. Let us stop looking at each other with a high of hate. The ne your neighbor na fake now. You believe? Pastors now go come outside. You go to preach. You go say that other pastor because the crowd they go to church na fake. In way not get member. You say na him be real. No wonder he not get member. Blessed is the hand that laborates. More than they walk, youth, youth, men and women, more than walk. All the guests walk. Nigeria now. The guests are the boys, they don't walk anymore. Pack of those three walk. Matter than the three walk. Eh? Matter than the three walk. They don't do any other work. They don't learn work. Ashawu. For the guests. Constitution. For the guests. The Yahoo and Keke. Keke now for road on the pass motto. Then they follow motto the dragon. You want you want come to you want come you want come now so you can do it. You know how much of my keke. You know how much of the balance. You know how much of the balance. You know how much of my keke. 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 For your two k two k. Praise God. Can I talk to somebody now? Yes. When I just want to listen to me at all. Yes, it is they pay me. So now the now not the year we are talking. And go find something to do. All these boys will like Yahoo. Go find something to do. Yahoo will not be work. Yahoo will not be waiting. Not be work. Not be work. Go and learn work. Go and learn how to do something. You don't wait for a white woman where you go thief. Now they will thief you. Because everybody don't wise. Go and do agriculture. Agriculture is one of the most that can benefit. Where you go benefit you. Train fish. Fish farming. Cow. I train cows for you. I bought 13 cows. We train there for you. During Christmas, I'll be three cows I keep. Three cows share for church. Give the only egg way. You see? For me myself, I deal with facts. I have to go back to the roots, the beningi. Because I don't believe, I don't do highlight uh, conversations here. I, I go to the facts. When I tell you guys here facts over sentiments, I don't care who your idol or who you follow. I discuss about it and move on. For example, look at the video I posted yesterday. Just my face looking at you, and then I put the reminder. How many people watched it? Compare that to the video you are seeing right now, and how many people have watched this video to that one? It's very clear because when you see the pictures on the thumbnail, the title, there are people that have attention. You are here. But do I blame you? I don't blame you. I know how the platform itself works. I'm telling you these things openly because I'm not a gatekeeper. I'm not a... I don't... No, no, no. I tell you the fact itself so you know that I understand you psychologically. What point in as much as there exist dichotomies in ministry and all that. Recently, Ebuka Songs is going to the UK with the person of Apostle Suleiman. And this is what a pastor also had to say. I something online and I want to be a little bit controversial. Many of you know a boy called Ebuka Songs. He sang a song titled... Um, who is calling my name oh jesus is calling my name oh if you call my name i will answer a million how many of you know him yes, sir. please hear me please i want to say something I'm, i want to be a little bit what a little controversial i'm not saying this to bash i'm not saying this to attack i'm not saying this to 
castigate. I'm saying this to shed light. Now, a pastor in Delta State, is it Delta or Benin, one of them, called Pastor Kesaina, rebuked Ebuka songs for being distracted and bowing down to a Yahoo Yahoo, meaning a, a fraudulent altar. How many of you saw the, 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 what happened online? Okay, what happened online was that Ebuka songs was singing a very powerful song. It was ministry. And it was rebuking the generation of frost stars in church. And frost stars, young men who have chosen to be frost stars and saying that God is raising a new generation of young men who will be passionate for the kingdom. And guess what? As I was talking and it came to the part where he said, even the Yahoo generation, the pastor, the apostle in the church quickly said, hey, God is saying I should give you my car. And the boy was rolling on the altar because of a Toyota. Even the Toyota self is not a new one. A common 13 million naira Toyota. 13 million naira is 10,000 pounds. That is not a car. The boy was rolling. The boy was rolling. When I saw the video myself, I said, Something isn't right here. This boy was not the son. Please hear me. The boy was not the son. All of a sudden, the next day, a pastor called Pastor Kesaina rebuked him and said, You were speaking in the Holy Ghost and allow the announcement of a car the pastor is it when you are someone is in the holy ghost ministering to the church that is when you are telling them you want to give them a car to distract the truth the pastor Kesana rebuked Ebuka songs and said you don't do that you bowed to an altar of fraud the pastor got backlash people were shouting the pastor is this the pastor has now come out to say that oh i wasn't bashing him i was praying for him you all just saw the video he didn't say he wasn't bashing him even though, yes, of course, he said he prayed for him, but you saw that Reverend Kesena still bashed him, I would say, when he said he bowed to Mammon and that he's praying for him. So, okay, but let's listen to the apostle himself. The pastor himself made a mistake to come and rechange or have to explain himself. The pastor was right. Let me tell you something. You know, people say they love God. Wait till money touch you. Remember the prayer we've prayed here tonight. Wait till money touch you. You will know if you love God. Wait till, you know, it showed that that boy was crying for a car. Hello, sir. It, it did not really show anything. It, it, see, the same person just bought a car for his parents. And let me tell you, just in case you don't know, nine months ago, even his record label boss, Moses Bliss, bought him a car so it's not as if car was his problem i don't know if you understand you people should do research more because for him to abandon what he was preaching that moment and start rolling on the floor because someone wants to give to you a toyota is, is that a car so if they are giving him a private jet he will run out of the church naked what kind of rubbish listen to me do not apologize for saying what is fact and I want to besiege the pastor Kesaina. You don't have to explain yourself to anybody because he got backlashed by different pastors. Now, I hear um, there's an apostle that I want to bring him to London too. Eh? Jesus is calling their name. So if you want to go and call their name, you can go and call their name. As far as I, as far as I care, the apostle and him, two of them are the same thing. They've lost their way. I can't be part of that generation. If an apostle once spoke one thing and is doing all that, the other thing, let us go back 15 years ago. What he preached against is everything he's doing today. I won't call the apostle's name. He's a sule and he's a man. What, what he preached against 15 years ago is exactly what he's doing today. It's a fraud. Why did he preach everything he preached? It's a fraud. So what Abu Kassan should be doing today is seeking the face of God, finding God finding God. Are you listening to me? Sir. And I want to pray for the Ebuka songs that the truth and the purity of his tongue will not be lost. Amen. That is why it's not every invitation you should what? Accept. It is not every invitation you accept. I just thought I said this because it has been on my heart and I feel the release to say it. Sir. Pastor Kesaina does not have any reason to explain to anybody what is said from the get-go is the truth. What he said from the get-go, from the beginning, is pure. Pure from God. He doesn't have to explain himself to anybody. So, 
he, he, so if I give Iyanuka, he will start rolling. Why, why is it that time that someone is speaking the things of the spirit? You are bringing the things of the flesh to them. And the pastor says, hey, everybody is crying what? If you are thinking about that then, that means you are not really connected to the real thing God wants you to hear. You are dancing and rolling on the floor for 30 million naira car. Is that a car? 16 year old in England drive car watch 150,000 pounds Range Rover. We are talking about 13 million naira. Naira. 9,000 pounds. 10,000 dollars car. You are shouting. And nobody, people, people are hailing that one. May that Ebuka songs not lose it because why? Do, Nigerian environment and churches is filled with people who will make you sell your soul before you know it. So I'll ask you a question. Does a Buka song have to really decide that, oh, this person is a real man of God. Let me go here. This person is not a real man of God. I, I would say for me as a person, probably his focus is not on who is real or who is fake. It's either he is following the money that he's going to be given, of which he has spoken in our previous video that is not all about the money. If you have not watched the previous video of me discussing about it, I won't play that one here because the video is already becoming too long. My videos are just too long for no reason. I don't know why, but I just like to play facts for you so that before you argue with me in the comments, I'm coming to you with brimstone. So you also have to understand that he might have his motivation to ask to where he goes and where he doesn't go. If he could be ministering at levels of like someone like Pastor David O'Billy, Apostle Johnson Suleiman, or maybe you know other big names would he still with the way he's rising now and platforms he's getting because whether you like it or not when it comes to the music ministry the me industry we discussed a whole series about this particular subject probably i'll bring it back again the music ministry itself there's an investment to it there is work to it you don't go and record in studio for free of course they get to have management but as these sounds come out just like you'll be here arguing hey david no no win grammy uh bonaboy no win grammy i can no win grammy do you know the kind of work they're putting imagine putting in the same kind of work as well when it comes to the gospel ministry so his songs getting into the waves as well <laughs> the pastors who should be asking questions people are singing his songs TikTok everywhere now he's getting invitations now he's getting the waves but what about the work that goes in goes on behind the scenes? Do you understand? So everything also, to a great extent, the motivation also has to be there. But if a pastor is talking about his person based on who he's singing for, you have to ask yourself a question. Does the Buka song have that uh, spiritual detector of uh, where I'm going, where I shouldn't be going? Because if you look at the previous video I played for you about discussing about this, when he went to this prophet's church the first time, Many people came out for altar call, even though Reverend Kesena is against him for what happened at that interruption. But I just showed you right now that the same pastor preaches against those who are doing Yahoo, except he's more of like a new repentance, except he's more of like a new leaf. But guess what? Frank Edwards as well was in the same church as well talking about Yahoo. The things that God has used him to do even some 70 years old have not done quarter of it. I was born in a very, very poor, in fact, if there was something below poverty, you know, we were five of us in one small room, one small room, one small room, one window, one door, just small room, five of us. And at that time, if somebody told me that one day God will use you to do what he's using you to do now, I will not even believe because the environment at that time did not look like it, sir. There's no... At that time, nobody in my family, both extended uncles, had a bicycle. I'm telling you, not even extended family had anything. So, I don't know the situation where you are now, what your surrounding is telling you is a lie. What your environment is telling you now is a lie. Don't believe it, it's a lie. Somebody shout, it's a lie. Your environment is telling you, no, nobody gets married in this family. There's no billionaire in this family, it has never happened. Nobody owns a company, it never happened. It's a lie, you don't believe it. Tell your neighbor, say it's a lie. 
You say, ah, in this family, people die early. People die is a lie. You have to, you have to steal. You have to do your own, your own before you become a billionaire. It's a, it's a lie. Every young person that is a billionaire is a thief. It's a, it's a lie. Now, this video I just played for you right now, it's just a recent event that happened like two weeks ago. So, Ebuka's song has been there like twice. But this time around, he was there with the person of Frank Edwards. Was it not the same Frank Edwards that said this when he was at Dr. Paul and S.S. Church? Listen to this. As a man of God. By the grace of God, you know, by the grace of God, I've been doing ministry, music ministry for for some years now and um, you know they invite you everywhere and you just you know with free heart you happily go there you know to minister to to the people of God sometimes out of excitement you don't even cross check where you're going to the altar that is in charge there what is in control what is you just out of excitement, we just go everywhere. So, I remember that I was working on an album project. You know, I don't, I don't write songs, I receive them. So I don't have a songbook, you know. I mean, my team will tell you, I don't have any songbook anywhere with anything written. I've never written one song in my life. So, but I know that I was getting ready for this album project and the Lord has given me a lot of songs. And I went somewhere to minister, I won't mention the name of the place. I could tell that my, my head emptied. Head emptied. When I mean my head, I mean, I'm, I'm a well-trained sound engineer. I'm a producer. I do my songs myself, so it's not like I didn't know what I was doing. But after I came back from that place, I could not do anything. I'll get into the studio. It feels like there's a blockage. And I didn't know what was going on. Time was going, you know, people were asking me, what is going on? We've not heard from you. You know, people say, what's going on? We've not heard from you. I just keep saying, I'm working, I'm working. But I could tell that there was a blockage somewhere. And fast forward, you know, the man of God sent for me, not for an event, just for us to have a conversation. And, you know, he engaged me, he said, what's going on? I had to open up to him, I said, Pastor, look at this, you know, look at that, look at where I've been to. And then he said, now I see what the problem is. It is not everywhere that you go to. It is not everywhere. You have to know, you have to be prayerful about places you go to. He said, I'm not saying to you, don't go anywhere. I'm not saying don't, don't go there, but at least pray. And then he said that just very short prayer over the phone, sir, the very next day. So when it comes to what Reverend Kesina himself said about when a worshiper or a Sami stands on an altar, they can they should be able to know if the presence of God is here or something. Frank Edwards that even knows this as well goes there to go and preach, to go and uh, minister. Ebuka Song still goes there, of course, he received the car. Why would you not go there again? You, you got the car from the same person. Uh, you, you go when they call you again, I'm just saying. But when you look at this particular, when you, when you look at this incident as well, you now get to ask yourself a question. On what barometer do you get to decide who is real or who is fake, who is of God or who is not of God? Now you see why I myself, I just deal with the fact. And I go my way. I will not come and tell you if your man of God is real or fake, but you have to test spirits. Just look at the last video I posted, even though many of you didn't say it, it's okay. I was showing you here that when it comes to 
I was showing you that fake miracles are real. That testimonies that are given in church, not all testimonies in church are true. Some of them are fake. Arrange is real. But you will not believe me. You think I'm just making noise. Until I open your eyes and you now being the member of the same church, you become the one ashamed. Because even with the spirituality you claim, you will not, you will not get anything. Because that has made you numb your brain. And the same person that you are following is using their brain to deceive you in the name of spirituality. But since you are being made to believe that but once your spiritual antenna is open, it has shut down your brain. Mm -mm, that's not how it works. Carry your brain, go church. No drop and for house, go church. Because even for inside church, brain work, still dead there. Do you understand what I'm saying? So to crown it all right here, do I have a situation with Ebuka Song himself ministering the Apostle, Apostle Suleiman? That is his own issue. He has ministered with him before in his church there in Awashi, before they are going to... Um, um, you get together or something. That is his business. What, what, whether I like it or not, if his heart is after the souls that he's going to minister. If you if you watch our previous video where Suona was discussing about the prophetic ministry, God can use anyone. Probably his presence in some ministries is God using himself for the people watch my previous videos for those who follow my platform like regularly if you are watching me for the first time you are welcome you are new here it's okay if you watch my previous video when i was discussing about the prophetic ministry and clarity you see that god is more after the heart of the people if ebuka songs mingling with those that probably are seen to be fake false fraud or whatever if he's mingling with those people would would be god's own chance to go after the heart of the souls the man of god is just one man i think he will be on the right course so whether this person is real or this person is fake or if those people are gathering in that church because of ebuka songs and ebuka songs is directing their heart to god i think that is okay because one thing I believe in is that change does not just happen like this. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. It's a continuous process. But maybe Ebuka Song's presence as well, even though to the side of probably whoever is inviting him is going to bring attention, is going to bring, come on, would you put an artist that just came out yesterday on your flyer? No. But Ebuka Song's having this attention, how is he using the attention? Of course, he doesn't care about whatever, whatever he's going to, probably where he's being invited. Maybe next time we'll look at what people have said about his music. I'm more of like a reactor. I'm not, I don't try to like, uh, because if I want to start originating conversations, it's going to be much deeper than the things you see. So me reacting to Reverend Cassiana's, um um rebuttals as well and then him taking his stand about who that particular man of god is in where they come from they know each other better i think as well just as he prays for the person of a book of songs and people are looking at his success and all that and his blessing i think you should also do the same because while a book of songs was over there at his own church at the prophet's church he was he was, the song he got as a download after that whole thing happened with the whole car was all about who he was in the past, who he is now, how God has helped him. If you, had, if you didn't see it, watch the previous video, you understand. But now himself, being at the person of Lacey, Pastor David O'Billy's church, the song he was getting was about mercy, mercy. And Pastor David also gave him a good commendation like he saw. So what point am I trying to make right here as well? His fire is up there. He's, he's doing well. He's, he's, he, the, the attention is coming. But of course, attention, of course, should be managed under the control of the Spirit of God. Look at look at me. Uh, many of you maybe just know me for a year or two. There are some people that knew me when this channel was probably two subscribers, three subscribers. 1,000, 2,000. Now we are looking at 1,000, 100,000 people following me. Did I ever expect that? No. I just kept on doing that which I know how to do, do best make sense of the trend if it's not trending i'm not talking about it that is my person in case you are wondering what does it what is this person doing is this a place i should be 
you don't hear me say like share subscribe i don't do those things you know why i don't do that because that is not why i'm here i discuss about the situation and i go because one thing i know is that once i'm clicking upload god knows how to bring his audience i just believe that those who watch my videos they were meant to watch that video i didn't have to send my link and say you come and watch you come and watch i put it out there anyone that watches my video was meant to watch it it's not a mistake that you are watching my videos or my conversations do you understand so while i've discussed about this you could tell me what you think in the comments i, I do value about value your opinions here until i see you next time as well take care of yourself